husbands that I regret I think all the nervous wreck Working up a nervous wreck for How's it going folks, this is Wayne R back for another lesson and a heavily requested song today, uh, Chasing Rainbows by Shed7. This isn't the version, I've looked at loads of cover versions of this and you know, I've sort of transposed the chords over myself and because I, I just thought I'd make this song as easy as possible. So by using a capo, you know, we're using pretty much all the same chords that you could play along to the song, but it's sort of an easier version. There is one bar chord however, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so uh, this song is in standard tuning, but as you can see, I've got the capo on the second fret for this version that I'm doing. Uh, and I'm doing this version because it's a pretty easy version to do it like this. Uh, most of the chords, bar one called the B minor, which we'll cross that bridge and we get to, are open chords. Okay, so and I'll go through the strumming pattern later as well. So the first chord that you're going to need is the G chord. Now, there's two different Gs I use throughout this song, but the the one that I use in the verse is the one that I tend to use loads, Oasis use loads, which is the, the four finger G, okay? So we got, and that's going to go to a D major, so it's going to go. There's things that I regret I've been called the nervous red for love, nervous red for Okay, now on the D chord, I tend to do a little bit of embellishment, turning it into a D sus4 by taking the second finger off, and a D sus4 by adding the little finger on the third fret relative to the capo on the top E string. So, okay, I do sort of improvise that a little bit, but I just think it makes it sort of sound a little bit closer to you know the song. So we've got the G. So I'll go over the strumming pattern in a minute, and then we got the D. Okay, so if you can sort of play about, play about with that and put that in, I think it, you know, serves the song really well. So that's pretty much your verse chords, a G to a D. Then we've got this little bridge part. Now this is where you're going to want a B minor, okay? I don't G, keep my secrets there. We've got that D chord again, D sus4. Time we go B minor, G, and then we go to an A. Now a little bit of embellishment here. So what I tend to do from the A chord, I'm going from an A to an A sus4. So that will be moving your, if you're playing it with the first three fingers, moving your third finger up one fret to the third fret relative to the capo on the B string, and then back to the A again. So we got. Okay, so I'll just sing that through. So starting with the B minor, so we got. I don't keep my secrets there. I hide them everywhere. Okay, so then we're into the chorus chord. So we start with a D. So we got a D. I cut the A. B minor, and then a G, 
I'm just a decoy chasing rainbows. Hey, over. Now we go to a G. Now it's up to you. You can use, you know, the regular G that we've already been using, or the G that I tend to do, because I'm going and doing a little bit of embellishment to a G, a G sus chord. So I'm doing a G chord with my second, third, and fourth finger. Fourth finger, sorry. So we got like the. Uh, you know, the three fingered G, you know, like the beginner's G, but I'm leaving my first finger free to go on and off the first fret relative to the capo on the B string. You know, sounds really nice, and again, it sort of serves the song, you know, if you're doing it this way. Okay, so through the chorus of the words, we got the D. I could D. But I've never realized I'm just chasing rainbows all the time. Okay, then it stays on the G. And then I miss my Q. Okay, and then it goes through, you know, like the verse, the bridge and the chorus part again. So the only other different part in the song is like the, you know, the chords that sit under the guitar solo. Obviously this is the acoustic version, so we're just gonna obviously, you know, play the chords which would fit underneath that. So it'd be a B minor. G. A. And I do that little A sus4. So again, B, B minor. G. A. Does that four times and then it goes into the chorus which would go round twice at the end but the last time you go up uh, and you'd finish it on a G major okay so the only other thing that's missing is obviously the strumming pattern, so... Uh... So the strumming pattern that I tend to use for this, and it is so I do only sort of roughly use this as well, I sort of, I do improvise a lot with strumming through this, and I sort of, I just go with the flow. I do that with a lot of songs, but I obviously I always show the strumming patterns, because that's what, you know, first and foremost, that's what most people tend to struggle with. But so I'll give you a, a strumming pattern to sort of as a guide pattern, and it will get you through the song. But with songs, I always say you've really got to relax into it and sort of, you know, maybe find your own way. Because if you overthink strumming patterns, it tends to get a little bit rigid. But I, I do always give the strumming pattern, and this is sort of a, you know, a, this will get you through the song. So it'd be a down, up, down, down, up, 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 down. Okay, so down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. pretty much all you're going to need for the song okay so thanks very much for watching out you all dug that like i say i've had a few requests for this one it is quite a heavily requested song and it's been a pleasure to do it i have sort of made it like i say th there's loads of different versions of this about and even what's the live version which uses a lot of bar chords i mean if people want me to do it that way i will do it that way 
because it does sound a little bit more you know authentic but I just try to make my lessons because I know I've got a lot of beginners that you know watch my lessons as well sort of you know as easy as possible and it still works it's still pretty much the same chords you can play along to the song but I've just made it easier by using a capo obviously on the second fret okay uh, and I think it works perfectly you know it's a, it's a great song it's a great busker's song a great one to get into your archive you know uh, and Shed 7 are a great band you know and still are a great band they've just released a new album and I haven't got it but from what I've heard of it it's really really good and I'll probably be uh, purchasing it really soon so uh, like I say thanks very much for watching if anyone's got any other requests you can either comment in the post below or a good way to reach me as I always mention is my Facebook page which is Wayne R Guitar and I get a lot of personal messages through that you know you can post message me a personal message as long as it's a nice message mind and you know I'm getting through a few requests at the moment um, but if you're lucky for choose your song I, I could have it posted up really really soon like I say I'm getting through a few at the moment so if people have requested songs please be patient okay I'm getting through loads of stuff at the moment but uh, that's what keeps me going I really enjoy doing this for you guys uh, I intend to carry on so uh, thanks very much for subscribing if you haven't if you are new to me uh, you know, tons and tons of lessons, everything from Aberthrough to Metallica, loads of Manchester music, which is my sort of favourite era of music, you know, the Stone Roses, the Smiths, Oasis, loads of those tunes up. So if you like songs in that vein, you know, please subscribe and go and check them out. But that just leads me to say, you know, have a great morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching, and I'll catch you for another lesson very soon. Take care.